we're going to move to the next example straight away now and we're going to do one on uh, logic so we'll do a logical um, example okay so we'll start with the hash again include stdio dot h and then we'll put main open it up put declaring uh, two variables we'll declare a equals one and we'll declare b equals zero so now we print f and examples so we've done our first line there we said give it a tab we're doing and examples so we, we just put a tab here and we say a and a equals true so that's true because a equals 1 and a equals 1 therefore it's a true statement that's the logic behind it okay and now do the b the f now this time we said a and b equals the value it will turn a digital either it's a 0 or a 1 now if it's a 1 it means it's true if it's a 0 this time it's false so here we're going to do the comparison a and b are they equal to each other well 1 and 0 are they equal no so it should return the value 0 and it's false put false here okay we'll continue now and we do the last and final comparison in the AND which is B and B are they are they equal to each other or not so now we've done B and B now I've put false it should return a zero but I won't give you the reason just yet uh, you can guess what the value will be I comparing B and B are they equal to each other do they return a value 1 or 0 is it true or false logic I say it's false and we'll see at the end what the computer says print F now we're going to do the OR uh, examples new line okay so we've now made the OR examples A or A equals and it should re equal yes a 1 is true because A or the A has the value 1 so it's true and that's that should do the, the, the equation there um, and we do it here again A or B is a 1 yes one of them is a 1 so they puts a 1 there it's true B or B basically both of them are 0 so it shouldn't return a 1 so it's false which proves why this statement here is false because two wrongs cannot make a right now we continue on to the not example so we put printf we put not examples okay here the not examples we've put printf and we say in here that a is not a well is that true well it can't be because a is a so that's the logic behind it so it should return a false zero which is not true a by itself yes equals is an A so it, it should give us a 1 and not A it it is an A so it should return a 0 or false here B as well is uh, going to be 
a zero because that's the value of of b and not b yes it is a, an uh, you know a, it is a zero so it should return the opposite so it gives us the opposite result that we're looking for it's not equal to therefore it must be not equal to so that's where it's it's it becomes a positive and it's true that b is not b because it is a zero confused you yet well let's try um, the result so let's save it let's say save as um, compare let's call it compare and we save and now we say build compare here we go a and a equals 1 is true a and b is not true because it's false because they're not equal to each other uh, b and b is not equal to each other because two wrongs like I said do not make a right so it becomes a zero or examples we said a or a yes they both yes have the same value a or b yes one of them has the one so it turns true b or b well none of them have a one so it becomes a zero and in a not example a is equal to one not a well basically that's not true uh, so it returns a false because a is one and the, you know whichever way you look at it is still a one and b is is a zero and if it's the opposite the opposite of b is a one yes uh, the opposite to a negative is a positive so it, it becomes a true statement okay so that one's is done that example is done now uh, we're gonna try to do an assignment uh, operator just to illustrate how that works